no sound in this one, but let's play it. It's really awesome. Crazy action. I love all of this. Look at that pickup there. And then, pa -pa! all right. So much to dissect here. I love this. First of all, I love the setup. I'm always a massive fan of putting characters into an environment. I love the little color change there. I think this is really great. Just like simple shapes that allude to a city. I'm just looking, always kind of looking at, I mean, I should be looking at the animation first, obviously, but I'm looking at the interaction. I like the placement. You got a little slippage with the bricks. All of that is really cool. The camera moves are nice. Let's watch this again here. Kind of follows. A little bit of a tilt there as it kind of follows. Maybe a bit long on the Dutch angle tilt there. Maybe kind of flatten out a bit sooner. But it's great too because it's not too frantic. It just frames it. And it's also, if you look at this, character is pushing over this way, right? So the character is always leading the camera. Even here, it starts to indicate a turn and the camera goes maybe a bit early, but it gives us just enough room to see this. But I could probably push this maybe up to here. Delay that pan over a little bit. And then because of the slipping, the camera kind of takes over. That's fine. This is de definitely well done where it really leads the camera and goes up here and then nicely framed there. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe character imagine higher doing all of this here so that the silhouette is cleared. There's a color silhouette here. It's not, not that it's not clean or not, not understandable. And sometimes it's nice to stack things, but maybe this could have been kind of neat since there is actually still a lot of room. If you look at this here, just the way it's framed, you could just bring that character up, leave this where it is and just put the character higher. Now that would mean that maybe the animation will be a bit snappy because the character goes higher, but kind of keep this, maybe just frame lower with the camera. That's my dog in the background, if anybody hears this. And I can't control him. When I do critiques, he just goes. Uh, and then maybe cheat that geometry down. So then you still have a clean silhouette. Maybe that's something that could be done. Now, already cool with that look. Wow, I love this here. There's a little bit of a push on the nose, like a flattened nose for a moment. I can tell. Seems like it. That's pretty cool here. Looking at that, maybe a bit high. You gotta be careful when you bring the lower lid into a 50%. I don't know, I'll go maybe a bit lower and push the cheek up. Like the cheek could do a lot of heavy work. I don't know if the cheek needs to, uh, the cheek needs to overlap and go over the lid, but maybe that could be something if it's just a bit bit high let me see the helmet ah, he picks up. i was going to say the helmet is a bit simple i love prop animation it could have had a little bit of a as he goes oh back like a push back it could have been a have a slight rotation in there and then watch out also the path goes this way and then whip goes it's only here so i would probably do that and you could have let's see if it hits the the underside here at the top i mean and then rolls over into that that could still work that would have been maybe a nice a nice little extra tweak. Yeah, that path of that helmet is a bit strange there. Then as he goes back here, yeah, he there's a nice feeling of turned towards us, where this side is towards us. And it's okay to have an over-rotation, so it's a bit more complex than just the one-axis thing. But then he lands so flat towards us. So maybe it could have been... Slightly less, keep it with the shoulder towards us, and then the landing will force him to go the other way. So it's kind of like a pa -pa, like a hit like that. I know there's something about the flat on that is not always the most appealing thing. But it's cool, it has a good pa -pa, cool feel to it. Yeah, I think we just kind of the straight on feeling. I like how these are, you know, moved over. So something in the chest would have been kind of neat to keep it like that. But it's a nice pickup. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Goes fast. Sometimes with stuff like this, when a character looks back, this feels like a forward run with a massively twisted body, torso, and head to look back. Where would I be need to do that? But then have a side, um, what's it called? Like a side step walk. Maybe it's intentional to push the cartooniness of half and half. But this seems like a, a broken game where you, you move your character forward, but then... <laughs> Then there's like a separate axis just for the body. I, don't know, I feel like that would have been a nice touch to do like a sideways walk. And then it would have been like this. Like this would have led right into that pose. But that's cool. I like that drop. 
This one's nice and heavy. There's no like extra bounce, which is good. Doesn't feel too light. There's not that much time. It goes up fairly quickly. Would have been nice to get one more frame or two of weight. And by that, I mean the body hits here and it takes him just a bit, just a bit more effort to get up. Where I know he pushes up with his arms. And it's kind of like a bounce up into this but maybe you would have been need to get a pose somewhere maybe cheated with this foot where it's basically it's it's more of a leg push off but i could have seen the chest lower it's like the the butt goes up first because there's still weight and like oh and the legs are like the legs are the things that that are driving the character to get out of there to flee but then there's still that weight in dragging the chest a bit lower and then coming up into that maybe as always, easy for me to say as I'm not animating this, but I feel like that could have been something interesting to explore. I do love this, though. I love the shapes. That was a wiggly thing here. I love the shapes here. It goes into this, the look back, and then this here, that starting to turn with that lean over into this with this arm out. And I know there's something really appealing about that change here. I totally buy that. The only thing I would say is as you have your head this way and you shoot over this way, then the head kind of locks. I've been also in the camera, but there's something about this where I would have continued. I know there's a twist in the whole body, but maybe something like that, where at least maybe the head would just have a bigger lean. Might be tricky because then you got that breakage between the chest and the head. But I see that turn, maybe maybe just even turning the, the head three quarters so we see that side, maybe his white eye to kind of help us lead into that turn. There's something about that turn but that kind of stops in the head and chest a bit. But I like the contrast too. After the running now, we have a whoop jump and slippage. That's the only time where I felt like, whoa, that is such a backward slip. And I know he has that. There's the off balance. He has that leg out there to regain the balance. This just feels slightly magical. I think what could have been fun to explore is that he takes one or two steps. See, that's just not enough time. In my mind, I'm going... Could have been fun to take a step down still while leaning back and it's the arms that do the whoa rotation forward move and that's what brings him back you might argue that might be this arm so maybe it could be we have to be an arm forward back a bigger arc and then up and then down into this move back if that makes sense so this arm goes up where are we here that fall triggers a nice little drag on the, on the on the helmet. That arm is then up and then bam, an impact goes up and gives us that arc into this. Because it just feels slightly magical right there. That recovery here and then that translate forward is a massively cheated translate forward. Because there's not even a full extension on this leg. So I'm not quite buying the physics right there. It would have been interesting to just get a frame of full extension to really push that and then would have been almost dragging that chest back longer. And then the forward move is when this happens, boom, that's a compression that brings it forward. I don't know, again, picky, picky, picky things about something that's really fast. Same thing here though, there I say, where he goes over and picks this up, which is great. There's something about that change of direction. Like that leg is straight, like he's leaning over there. So to get into this is a bit magical. I would have put that foot here already right off the bat it's underneath the body so that I mean this is also silhouette wise a bit tricky that way you would have had this room to do this like a bigger direction point of that leg to motivate physically that move over there picky picky I love this though going up and one arm and there and this one's also a bit tricky not quite understanding what's going on i mean i know what's going on but it would have been maybe maybe if you push it more like that and i could have been maybe a one that's like this with that could the body be curved like that maybe could have had that first hold in that drawing that i just did and then because i know he has to go back because the arm goes back and that pulls the chest over and, and back for the throw but something in there to make it work and then this is a bit long let me watch this in real time and yeah there's always the thing when you watch it in real time i guess it kind of works and then you start framing through it and you go that's a really locked head 
The thing about real time here when you watch this, we, we see the face. If we just watch his eyes and go <sighs> with all that action, we are locked on that face and we get to read it. Because I was going to say, if you do this, arm is so far back, I would tilt the head this way, right? Because everything pulls over. If I go back and throw like a nice little push on the head this way or pull, and then on this, it could be slightly delayed and dragged. See, there's not enough time. And then at the end, the head would be tilt this way. Again, the tricky thing is, will that be too much head movement and we won't read it? I just feel like it's a bit too locked. I think we could loosen that up again, a bit of a rotation this way. So a bit of a overall line like that. And then at the end, you could end up here. Just like a little bit of a tilt in the head. That could work. But that is that. It's very, very cool. I love it. And that's it for me. Alrighty, let's play this in full. There is some. That's so cool. Turn the sound off. This one is one of those picks where I feel like everything's awesome and I just want to talk about it. I do add some of these that are, I think are really cool too at the end of my compilation for a, kind of like a bonus thing, but I do wanted to show this one, go and go in there frame by frame. The thing is when you watch this, it all feels totally fine. Sometimes it's always a bit of a bummer when you go frame by frame again, which we, you don't really watch in frame by frame, but to have these effects, I would still add, because there's so much luck put into all this, to still have a bit of a tweak in how these moves, they don't stick over multiple frames. There's one at the end as well here. When you go up and see that effect here, where it kind of holds, I don't know, something that if you're already putting all that work in there, it could be something to kind of tweak. Picky things like when that hand gets on there, we're kind of locked on this where it feels a bit IK and then there's no real compression and change in the figures. If I be super picky, this just feels a bit too IK with the bending and the movement and with this hand, it's kind of being still, but I like the weight of it as it comes down. It's just enough time for it to go and over. Also feels, as again, as a viewer, I reviewed some of the Toy Story stuff before, where I haven't animated these, so it's not, I don't know the ins and outs, but as a viewer, this feels very buzz where he has those quick moves and tuck and rolls. I think this is really nicely incorporated in here. I think going back, maybe something where we can see the foot a bit more here, just pushing and cleaning up that silhouette a little bit where it gets a bit muddy right through there. But as always, I love the added 2D effects. I love all of this. Get a full extension on the legs coming in again. I like that immediate lean for that push off, push off with the full extension. So there's just enough weight to get in there. And I love this here. This is really cool. Push off with that as a nice frame into this with that turn. Just seeing enough of the face there. I think that's really neat too. Again, the 2D effects really complement this nicely. I love this here, how we get into that, that type of framing, but still seeing his head with the eyes and then the mouth reveal here just for a little bit. Again, this is once you watch it in real time, it just holds enough that when you see all that action, the stuff that kind of holds and freezes, what am I looking at? I'm seeing this. I think this is really nicely presented and nicely staged. Just tiny things for me in terms of the IK hands and some silhouette here and there, but I just love the rhythm of it. All of that, if I may make some weird sound effects. I just like the rhythm and the holds as we go back, the contrast and the just the pattern of the slow and fast, I think is really neat. It's really nicely presented. The camera moves are great. There's nothing too confusing. And you have the camera that doesn't lead. I was gonna say that leads, that doesn't lead. It's the character that leads the camera at all point. The camera always kind of has to adjust and catch up and I think that's really really cool all the way up to here just generally it's really well done really nice presentation I just love being in uh in Andy's bedroom I love seeing that just we're moving around the set we're moving the space and it doesn't feel like it's just you know flat to camera there's not that much happening I mean this is this must challenge is very dynamic I think this lens the, the topic lends itself to doing something more like that but I think the execution is just really really cool Love seeing this. I would love seeing more shorts with buzz like that. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, and that's it. Thank you. There is no sound, but let's play this in the full first. And I could make sounds, I guess, huh? <laughs> I don't know what this is. Pew pew sound at the end. So I picked this one, not just because it's cool. The thing that I would say is just the weight feels a bit off. And I'm not saying off here. Like I like the timing. I like the hold. I like the pose right off the bat. 
a little bit tangent there, but this is a very picky frame by frame walkthrough. <laughs> This is all cool. Like, again, like I said, like a nice hold, a nice asymmetry. It's a bit flat maybe since the leg is out. I will bring that pelvis over this way. That way you have a bit of a hit. Bam, flat hit like this. Always a fan of 2D effects that are added there. I think probably push out one of the legs and bring that knee in just for a nicer silhouette. So it's just not that. It's far away, but just kind of picky comments. But the main thing is as he goes back, I feel like we could have a better lead into this. I know he leans over the leg. Again, it's a bit of a silhouette issue there, but then it's a push and the head drags. But the thing that's happening is that the lean of the head and the chest, kind of the same, kind of the same, kind of the same. And even on that push off, they're kind of the same. There's a little bit more of the back here, which implies a bit of a drag in the head. But because we don't see the face, like there's no... You never see the face. Where is the face? Give me a face, which is an issue towards the end too. Here is a face, right? So because we don't see the face color, skin color, eyes or anything, it's just this black, wishy little Piachet here. Piachet? Chia pet. Wow, that was a good one. So I'm, I'm missing rotations and a change in that pose because it's just all black there. And I do like those stretch and it comes back in. It's a nice pose, nice effects. But I feel like there could be something where we could get into this. And then... Because the shot is also here, right? This that happens is before he actually jumps. So to me, that hit is back there. And there's nothing right here that hits that would motivate an immediate jump where the face is not looking up. Where it's like, this feels more like an instinctual reaction. But this is later than that. So to me, it would be you come down, head looks up with a almost head lead where it's less of a drag in the body here. But it's a bit more, you, you start you start to lead. So you have a more open chest and we see the face. And then the explosion could happen closer. And that's also almost like a, a blast shockwave <laughs> that sends him over. I think that could be something. Same thing here with the weight. Again, we have the head. That's just kind of this mop of here, this little black creature. And also there's a lot of momentum that goes over this way, that roll, and then bam, we just stop. And it's all straight. It would have been really cool to see this over with a almost a lean struggle, crossover step, then one more step, and then an adjustment step over. I know this is all in slow-mo, so I don't know if you would have to bring in the slow-mo a bit later. But that's, that to me is bigger. This is, it kind of works, but I wish we could see more change in the chest and the head. So it's a different, differently motivated push off, I guess. This one just felt weird in terms of the weight of what, right? And then immediately still in that lean versus oh, going over this way and then coming back. That's cool. And then I wish we had one more frame of like all red or all white. Feels like we're almost there. I mean, it's also frame limit, but to continue this at home, just kind of finish it up. I will give this another frame in there to finish this off. But then we go from this to that. I mean, I'm not supposed to loop, but there's something about this not quite connecting there. Again, this is like a one frame, <laughs> one frame, quote unquote complaint. It's not the complaint. It's a one frame critique, which is a bit silly, but anyway. But that is that. It's really neat. And I just wanted to bring that up for the weight. Anybody's watching this, students. Uh, you know, do physical things. Weight is always an issue. So here's your example. And that is that. Thanks. All right, here's the next one. It also has sound. <laughs> the subtle sounds, but they're there. The reason why I picked this one, because I watched a couple of them and they're all about, bam, going back and fighting and shooting and explosions. And I love this one because it's, he gets hit. And then it's all about the pain. It's like, ah, wait, wait, I'm not done. Ah, ah, <laughs> I showed this up. Ah, it hurts. That's the whole shot. I love this. I love that this is the idea and the motivation behind all this. And then at the end, I love that it's the car that brings the character forward. The only thing I would say is that there's a crazy off model thing. When you look at this is the face to some degree, right? I mean, it's a bit of a squash throughout the thing because he's fairly in pain, but that's kind of the look of it. 
here at the end, it gets a bit weird. I think it's okay to stretch things, but there's something about, especially this area that's so over. He just turns into a totally different character, just design-wise. I think it would be interesting to do that more with a, a an open mouth, to, so they keep that distance here uh, shorter. Open the mouth, and you can still have a little stretch there, and maybe tweak the hair to get like to get the feeling of a stretch in there. Then to massively change the structure of the head like that. Other than that, I think body-wise, there's sometimes it's a bit clunky. Watch out, they got some intersection right there. I know it's, it's quick, you will never see it, but I would still go, the rest is really nicely presented here. The renders are really cool. Um, and actually, you just told me that it's in uh, done in Unreal. So it's really neat. But if you spend that time already, you need to kind of just watch out for stuff like that. I would also offset fingers to get a bit of a, bit more, um, not complex, just a bit more of an appealing change in the shapes, also angles, like this seems very default. And just a bit, not, just not enough of a, a, a thought out pose there. I'm also sorry, I'm kind of almost distracting myself. It feels like you are fighting the frame. It's like the hands cannot go out and give us enough of an arc where it needs to stay in frame and then it comes in. That's a bit odd. I think I would loosen it up and give it a bit of a nicer, a nicer arc versus what's what's there. Again, fingers are just to me it's the basic thing. Even here, thumb is still out, but only these guys are curled in. And it's also a bit. I mean, you have weight shifts in terms of like the pelvis, but it's like that can't be just delayed a bit. He steps on this, but the weight is not on that leg yet. I will keep the hips like this, and then as he gets over, then they shoot up a bit more. And that's just okay. I mean, there's enough movement here that I can push off into that move over there. But I wonder if that could be just be a bit more bent with the leg to give us a bit of a nicer line so it's not so harsh in there. Yeah, and then even here, the camera goes with the body. There's some, some funky camera body relationship stuff where I would overshoot and then the keep the camera here the body goes forward and then delay that camera move by maybe five six frames and then it comes back to us but i do like the look this is again really nicely done with the renders and just the way it's framed i love i just love this like the idea of him going Arr! but with that pain again i would give it a bit of a grouping of the fingers i would tighten that fist and maybe you know just a bit more because you have so much tension like the shoulders are so high that i would re keep doing this and really have a close tight fist I mean, I could see that going uh, like that with the fist. It doesn't have to be like a punching type or whatever you want to, you know, whatever fist that is. But I can see that. But you could also get into like a, a tighter hand maybe just to get a bit of a, a change in posing. Just this feels too soft and loose to me. There's something about this that could work. Again, I love the end. I love the depth of field that we're still focused somewhat on this. It just has a kind of a nice little toy look to it. But that's mostly that. For me, it was just kind of, the mechanics are just a bit weird through there with the hips and the root. Wah, wah. Just that. And also probably I would ease in just a bit more. Not that it's super realistic, but there's something about that. It's a prolonged feeling of off balance where I would rotate that body a bit over. And then when he goes over, it just kind of stops very harshly. I would kind of overshoot a bit and just ease, soften that moment there. So it's not super harsh. Because when you look at this, there's still enough of a overshoot and keep alive in the body that it's not super stylized in terms of stops and goes. So that's why this one right there just feels a bit harsh in its stop. Yeah, and then this one just feels, just kind of hurts a bit, that pose. But again, idea is great. I love what you're doing with this and I love that it's the car that moves the, uh, the character forward. I also like it'll stop on the car, watch how the car goes down right there. It's neat. Now, I'm going to pick you. Let's see. Am I seeing a rotation in the wheels? I'm not sure. I just wanted to check like, how detailed that is. What is that? That must be just like a light or is this something. I don't know. Look at the detail. Anyway, I'll we'll leave it at that. I'm starting to noodle things for, for weird reasons. Also, weird reasons like that belt is weirdly locked on those two frames here. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. It's a really great clip. Great idea. A really nice presentation. Alrighty, there's sound. Let's play this in full first. It's 
It's very cool. I do love the sounds. Actually, bring the sounds down though. There's a lot of stuff that I really like. A, just view of the sound is already cool, but the presentation is neat. I like the colors. I like the renders. It's just clean and simple. Nice little camera move too, if you watch this in real time. Okay. Nice little pan and even a bit of a translate back. Pan and tilt right there. It's really neat. Also animation wise, I think it's really neat where right off the bat, we have just enough asymmetry to go in there. You can see this too, as the character goes back. If you look at every frame, there's always something differently posed. Now, speaking of posing, I would be careful. I know this is fast, but I would still have something where either the foot is a bit further out. So we have a little bit of that leg here. We understand that where that knee fold is kind of like in here. That's already better. So be careful in spacing this out. I know this is just over one frame, but since every frame is already different enough, you got asymmetry, the eyes, everything there. I would just be careful and really push that even here little bit or the leg out to give us a bit more even here this feels like uh, half an arm that gets better again I'm extremely picky here over each frame but it's because it's cool what I also like here is that as we go back right and this is just a couple frames we just get used enough to this character and as it slows down the other character comes in it's a fun rig too simple enough but really really cute Probably does not have a foot roll. <laughs> Probably because it's too simple. I'm not sure. But that would have been something. So we're kind of resting on that. The toe just a bit long. But it's fun how he's already starting to look over with the big white eyes. It gives us a clear direction. It's really neat. That's your classic three point landing pose, but still very clean and clear. It's just enough of a bend. I was going to say maybe bring down the knee a bit lower, but actually not the bad because it gives us a bit of a with that in like this. We understand that there's the pressure there, like that there's finger animation here, detailed. I'm always, always looking at your animation, how much polish someone puts in. You can see how it changes. Although you're a bit long on the fingers out, I would probably roll in just a bit at this point, personally. This is cool too here. You go up i'll probably go over a bit and then down out there's enough time for that but it could be neat to have a little bit of like that versus that but again asymmetry is good you got full extend not quite i was gonna say full extension not quite i'll push this let's see the next frame now it's immediately bent i'll give it this one frame if you watch this you i sense it but it's not crazy i would still give this a full frame of extension stretch out those legs and then careful when he goes back there is a weird pivot off the kneecaps where it feels locked right through there so continue a bit over the moving holds in terms of the the roots going up and then down but it's cute and i love this too that it's the going out this way probably at the end we could push that C curve and it's a bit stylized where I kind of to be honest I kind of like the the straight angles because it doesn't always have to be all roundish it could be interesting to kind of push that a little bit more but sometimes it's kind of neat just have more like a it's almost I don't know if it's like a puppety or feel to where things are just a bit more rigid <laughs> I kind of like it but that is that coming in here watch out bit of a neat pop there but again over over real time I'm, I again it's more Stuff that I feel like mm, that could have been a bit smoother, but does it distract from the viewing? Is it like a crazy pop that goes, Whoa, that was wrong? No, but it's also visually, you got that shading and then pops into a lot of dark, and I think that's why I'm picking up on it as well. But again, you got asymmetry in the poses, probably bring this out and out here so you don't have a tangent right there. So you got it over almost two frames there. Asymmetry, I like how it starts to lead back with that wrist, how the wrist goes back first. And even here, got a slight offset there. I think that's great. Full extension here, which is good. I'll probably rotate the foot a bit lower. Great lighting too. We, just, we understand too with, with shapes in front of, like stacked in front of each other, the lighting helps to give you that line here, that highlight line to give a separation. So it's not just one blobby thing. I think that's pretty clever too. And you got the 
squash on the ball. Oh, and that's cute too. Look at that asymmetry in the face, but just at the end. And again, might have been nice to do a bit of a bend over, break the joint, and maybe I'll go this way into that. It's a bit harsh there, but if you play this in real time, I know to me, I linger on that frame. Like I see that arm and there's something where I wish it would be less like that. But that is that. Really cute. Again, nice presentation. And the sounds are great. Let me bring that back to sound. Sounds great. Also, I love these, uh, the squeaky sounds. That, just because I used to play basketball a lot. Uh, indoors like that. And you just have to... You just hear, you hear those sounds like, ah, oh, that brings me back. Anyway, it has nothing to do with animation. This is really cool. And that's it for me. Thanks. Alrighty, let's watch this. There's sound. That's <laughs> so good. I <laughs> turn off the sound here, even though it's great. The mechanics are great. There's some great separation with all the limbs. I love the 2D effects that he has added great offsets and everything but besides everything being great also like the snappiness how he gets quickly into this was the cool thing is that he basically gets into this over one pose kind of like over one pose one frame right? but he kind of snaps into that but then the continuation in that wiggle just helps to not make it super stiff it's just enough life in there as it continues i think that's great love these here you can see the smeary multiples it's just really fun to see that type of exaggeration with the character being so loose. I love all of this, but the main reason why I'm showing this one is the end. Again, I just want to go through these frame by frame, and I recommend every student that watches this to look at those clips or anything that you find online that's really, really cool, and then go through frame by frame to look at what does he do? He goes and leads with that leg, then brings this in, and then the rest, and that in real time totally works. But I love this here. Look at that. He got Wiley's working. He's already going off with multiples. And I love that. It's almost like a, a mini montage where he's still working. All that continues with a slight adjustment in camera here. Look at that. It's just so much fun to still look at it frame by frame. Uh, animation wise, I really don't have anything to say just because it's so great. I love all of this here. Just the playfulness. And still you have a nice following that arc. Everything is nicely done. If I'd be super picky, it would be something where he follows this and then as he goes down, maybe a bit more angled in terms of the body. So it's not straight down while there's a side translate with this. So maybe kind of following that line also with the body. And you can have a bit more fun with that. And then as he comes in and out, you would have a bit of a contrast of head like this and head like that in terms of orientation. I mean, you know, I could be super picky with things where as the body goes down you think that he would also hold on to this tighter so there would be a slight change in the finger so instead of straight down there would be like you can see a curvature in the pinky it's a tightening of the hands just to feel that there's a little bit of a grip in there even though it's a bit more pushed in terms of the timing and the cartooniness i think there's potentially some stuff you could do like i mean i see a rotation that hand I don't know if a spreading of fingers would add much. So I think some of these comments, you know, that sometimes I go into frame by frame would be a bit um, picky. Like this feels like a default hand. You could rotate in some of the fingers, give it a bit of a, a different finger posing. But you know, there's also a fine balance. You want to end this on a on fairly stepped, harsher keys. Would it then be almost too much when you end here? to get a bit of a finger grip and a change in the thumb. It kind of goes up and it kind of grips the, the helmet. Is that a helmet? Yeah. <laughs> helmet hat thingy a bit tighter. But there's always a fine balance of, well, this is also a certain minimalistic style. So if you start adding too many details in there, it's going to be almost slightly weird when you have kind of spliny stuff in there. But I love all this. Love that little, looks like a little keep alive idol there. So good. I mean, that's... It's mainly, I'm picking this just to showcase how awesome it is. So if anybody's watching this, any student, like, I'm not going to do body mechanics wise. Anything like that, where you just have so much fun. Again, I can be picky with things where the, the, the head is very straight. So with this and that push, I would even have, since that's an overall body arc like this, give it a little bit of a lean with a little orientation of that in the head. 
And then as it goes down, the head can lean a bit the other way. Just a bit of a break up. There's a little bit of in here, but even here you could rotate that head over just a bit more. Just having a bit more complexity in the head, I think could be interesting. And I don't think it would hurt the animation. Because again, it's very minimal and it's very stylus, as you can see here, as like nothing is moving. You know what I mean? You have this leg moving. There's no adjustment in the hips or anything, for example, weight shift. There's no time. It's just all over one frame to make it very clean. But I think that's that. It's really, really great work. And I would highly recommend that you check out the rest of his work. Alrighty, let's play this in full. There is no sound. And I could make sounds as always, but maybe not. <laughs> Ta -ta -ta. <laughs> it's very cool. I really, really like this look here. Because of flat shaded or flat lighting in there. I'm not quite sure how he did this here. If it's just color faces here, but I love that. It seems flat, but then it still has a 3D move. We understand the uh, you know the structure of it. But at least it's nicely presented here like that. Really nice framing with the building. She has a clear silhouette. Well, that's really cool. I think the only thing, and this is more of a, a personal thing, because it gets very stylized, where every now and then I'm not 100% into some of the smears. There's something when you get in here where I'm really seeing the multiples, where it's just above the, you know, I don't know, to me it's always like more feeling and seeing. Like, this is all cute, and I like this, it's really, really fast. That's all nice, but there's something about just that moment and it doesn't quite click for me here. There's one later on, where the camera goes past her, where I personally would not have these. This would be if she goes past. I don't know. She's not moving at that point. It's it's the camera person. And then this one where, again, I understand why with that hit and everything, but there's just something sometimes about the, the look there. I'm not, but that has nothing to do with the animation. That's a very weird subjective um, critique on this. But I love the on twos i love the the flow of the hair i love all the mechanics of her trying to regain balance and i like how you have little moments of pushed faces you can see this here with the stretch and the bigger eyes and getting smaller again there's some really nice detail in there it's always clear as to what she's doing what she's thinking and i love that big broad anticipation into this all works with her the roller skate aspect of what she's here uh, totally how they would do it you know, with the arm swings the lines are nice full extension there it's really cool again just like every frame to me is really nicely done that's all really really cool love again the deformations on the head just give this just all that unique look full extension again here really nice line <sighs> love that it's not just an immediate bounce off the wall but you have a little bit of a on here over land that i just love how each frame is just so different like it has a really nice non-fluid 2d look to it bam that also seems like potentially too crazy i know there's something again where we're we're on the ground looking up we understand that that's the uh, you know the buildings and then you got this craziness in the camera but then it feels like are we almost kind of back to the same framing not really but it's just still kind of the upwards tilt where it just felt weird to have that much out of control camera movement. I would feel like we would almost be on the ground and then her leaning down because that character is on the ground and it's like one more punch. Again, this has nothing to do with the animation. It's just a weird side note on how it is presented. But love the look. Even this here is great. It's for anybody, any student who watches. Like a lot of times in, in student critiques that I see or that I do, when there's an arm moving from one pose to the next, it just usually moves and the fingers are just there and then they go with the hand and that's it. And there might be some breakdowns and some changes in the poses. But it's so rare to see a beginning anticipation of the fingers. This could be out for then into a fist. This could be going in or into the fist. But anything where, imagine you have your hand, you said you hold on to this and then you let go. You're going to have a release of tension in the fingers before the hand goes away. Of course, will also all depend on the style and how detailed you want to be versus you know, like super cartoony versus more bit more for real. But I like that's in there. Even in this more stylized look, I love the finger animation. Just enough detail, enough of a graphic hold. It's really cool. And you can see the breathing in on that. It's just really well done. I'm just a massive, massive fan of the colors are great. I love the, the look of it. The animation is great. 
this is all really, 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 really sweet. That's all I can say. I can only say bravo. This is so up my alley. I love this. All right, here's another one with sound. Let's play this. That's <laughs> so good. Do not decide here. Again, this is so well done. I always love going through frame by frame what people do with the faces and the initial hits. There's a really nice feel of the hit and then the floatiness in this. As you wait, I think that's really, really cool. I think mechanics wise, there's an ever so slight feeling of goes this way. Maybe I should not draw in yellow here, but goes this way, but then has an immediate correction with a bit of a change right through there. It feels just not super clean in terms of the spacing. It's a minor thing was after that. It's really, really nice. Picky thing like little tangents with the, where these lines end here, but it's really neat. I really like how the legs are wang and a slight offset there. That's all cool too. Like the timing is really nice. Going up there, all of that is really well done. Big fan of all of this. But the main reason, as you can imagine, why I'm picking this one is just I love all of this. Always a massive fan when you put someone in the set and you play around with set ideas and props. But I love how all of this connects and then turns into that. And if you look at the weight at this point, it's just a totally different feel. And that obviously is not walking or running there, but it's just a really nice feel to it. I also like that it's not a three point landing. It's a bit more like that. I wonder if there could have been a bigger extension out there to get a bit of a cleaner silhouette there. I'm getting it back to here. The other thing for the weight here, as the character gets in, there's something ever so slightly off here, subjectively, as he goes here with how much this gets pulled down. And it's, but especially this, to me, it's the, the spacing of this. If I bring in some onion skinning here, that into that, into that, yeah, it's just a slight ease in feel where it's not quite connected. And then it connects and even through here, I feel like you want to take like this frame out, even potentially re-space out the feet. There's something light as he steps down. It's a bit different here, a bit of a harsher hit. But I feel like if there's something on that impact to have a slight jolt down in the shoulders, all some of the, the lighter wobbly parts that you can play with when you have something big and heavy, you don't want to make everything slow. Otherwise it gets kind of, kind of floaty, heavy slow. So anything where let's pretend, you know, there would be something like hair or something on that impact, it would snap down quickly and this gives you kind of a difference in a sense of scale, something heavy versus smaller things have that quick impact. And since we don't have that, we need to play around a little bit on uh, with the, the uh, pelvis impact, a like impact down jiggle with the shoulders or the, sho well, the shoulders as well and the elbows. So to me, that's something we could play around with. It's a bit tricky with this massive mass to get clean silhouette we could have potentially played with maybe further out and then seeing the foot here so it's not just this short leg visually and then that side at the end it's really i mean these are tiny tiny notes i love this always a little bit of a of a glee in this <laughs> like almost like a up in the eyebrows and then ka -ka, still seeing the face it's nicely framed but i just love this i love this idea i love how it's done and the different feel of it. <sighs> Love the camera moves. I'm always a big fan of just putting it all together. Effects like that, nice camera move. A little slight change in the lens there. I think all of that is really, really well combined. To me, I just have little bits and pieces in terms of spacing and just mechanics here and there as always kind of picky stuff, but I absolutely love this. Did not expect that. This is so cool. Again, totally up my alley. I love this. And that's that. It's really just short and sweet. I love this. As always, let's watch this in full, and there is sound. <laughs> That's so good. This is another one where, I think animation-wise, I really don't have much to say. I just wanted to highlight it and show the awesomeness, but there's just a lot of it that's really cool. In terms of the presentation, it's neat. I like the style. I like how it's presented with those colors and that blurry background that just gives it just enough of a background, it all blends in nicely. I love the, as always, the 2D effects and all these are great. I think it has a great flow of 
how the body is tumbling here. Got really nice lines, clean silhouettes. Sometimes I think we could push it where it feels a bit stiff where everything is moving as one body and head. And he's somewhat, he got hit. So for a moment, he's going to be a bit more out of control and then regain control to go up here. So I think there could be a moment of potentially flop your arms, at least one, and you can have a, a, a symmetry in there. Watch out silhouette wise that we don't have those stumpy legs there. So it could be slightly more like that. Again, not to be super twinned. I like that there's an offset, but it's kind of losing the structure just on that frame. And it has an overall feel like I think we can just separate these a bit more. And then by having these out as they come in, will give us a greater sense of he's back in control to go up here. This is all cool. Love how it follows that path. It's a tad harsh to have. almost go a bit, a bit wider there, but that's just me. It's really cool. Though. I really like the lines. Sometimes I feel like it's almost too nice where I would kind of like a little bit of a, just an offset in all these, something like that. It's a bit clean here, but again, these are just single frames. The main reason besides, you know, looking great. And I love the interaction here with the camera, all that is great. It just struck me when he does this. I love how he gets in there and he has a little bit of a moving hold. It's a bit of a wiggle looseness. And then especially this one, as he prepares, how the body moves, has a slight drag and how then the legs come up. And it's a simple thing, just like a drag overlap type of thing, but it just feels really nice. It's a good floaty, floaty weight. I know it sounds really weird to put this together, but I like the floaty weight in this. Again, love the look, nicely silhouetted. And then going in there is really neat frame by frame to see what is changing, how it gets in there that we have to reframe for this. And a bit where we, a bit stumpy where we could see maybe potentially the structure a bit better. There is stuff going on in the hand, so anything will maybe have a slight glimpse of that forearm, the fingers, maybe you're cheating a little bit. They're getting in there, but this is cool. This could be ever so slightly more intense, I feel like. This is cool, but this here almost feels slightly tired and sad. So maybe even on these frames, pushing the upper lid up to get a bit more white. It's a bit more like that. I would cheat the eye, uh, the eye, the left, the pupil a bit more where screen left. That's all cool. I love all that. I love that blown out frame there and we still see this and these are cool too frame by frame seeing what happens there and then if you watch this in real time actually with sound it's cool too <laughs> it's just really neat so again overall not a huge amount of animation critiques because i, I pick some of these out just because like mm, maybe this could need some work this could need some work and some of these are going like this is just so cool i just want to pick them and talk about it and see what i like because it's not always about fix this and do that. Sometimes I think it's also important just to highlight this is really cool and this works really well because of that. And there's a bit more like a, an appreciation pick than a, a critique pick. So for me, Fappy, again, speaking of pick and being picky, if I will pick some things, it would be the looseness of the body. And sometimes some of these paths where they could just be, they almost feel like he is stuck in, I can't tilt up higher and I don't want to tilt down lower. I feel like this almost needs a lower arc where it kind of flattens out too quickly. If you watch this in real time, there's a slight like hit here, just feeling wise. The rest is really cool. So yeah, little picky things here and there, but overall, very, very nice. Ha, ha, ha.